What's up guys, Cody with KAK Industry. I'm out here today, I just wanted to do a quick video. Uh, we made some 17.556 bullets, so these are 0 .172 cal. Uh, they're 12.5 uh, grain is the weight on them, so they're super light. Uh, this past weekend we were shooting and I maxed out the Garmin C1 at uh, 5,220. 0.9 feet per second so um, the highest that I've gotten before was 5,162 feet per second that was with a Hornaday 15.5 um, grain NTX this is our 21 inch 17.556 barrel just going to put a few rounds through it I'm going to see if I can't get that uh, uh, 5,200 feet per second on, uh, on camera here for you guys Didn't pick it up. Might be uh, too fast. Try it again. Forty nine seventy five. One of my uh, trigger pin screws, it's a cassette style trigger, I just noticed is coming unscrewed. Tighten that up a little bit. All right, kick it up a notch, see? 5,085. That was the same charge. Pretty nice spread. Five thousand one hundred sixty six. Five thousand one hundred eighty three. And this should get us hopefully right on the uh, the line there. We'll see. This is actually a different Garmin unit than I was using a couple days ago. We'll see if this one can read up to that fifty two hundred mark. The 163 dropped off a bit there. 5216. Kind of close enough. We'll put a few more through here. See if we can uh, kick it up just a few notches. fast. Too fast. All right, so for for an AR15 as far as we know, uh we're the first I guess company ever to uh release or produce a cartridge that's capable of moving in excess of 5,000 feet per second. Um, 
and keep in mind that this is only a 21 inch barrel. So people, you know, that look at, look, come to our website and look and they're like, well, it seems like a 17 Remington. So th this is a 17 Remington um, that's basically on steroids. Um, you know, you can get above 5,000 feet per second with 17 Remington and lightweight projectiles, sure, but remember that the shortest barrel length those rifles come in, or I don't know if they still make them or not, um, is 26 inches. Um, I know there's 28 inch barrels too. Uh, we make an 18 inch version of this. I don't know exactly what uh, these 12.5 uh, grain bullets will do out of them. I know that with the Hornaday 15.5 grain, um, NTX bullet, it's not abnormal to get around 4,500 feet per second. So when we're talking real, really small bore diameter, um, 17 cal in general, um, especially with the unique chamber design that we did with this cartridge, um, you're gaining a, a pretty significant amount of velocity per inch. So from what we've seen, on average, between the 15 and a half grain bullets to let's say the 25 grain VMAX bullets, you're gaining like 100 feet a second, if not more per inch. So if I were to shoot a 15.5 grain VMAX, or sorry, 15.5 grain NTX out of our 18 inch barrel at 4,500, out of our 21 inch barrel, that's gonna be 4,800 like minimum. We just wanted to get this out there. We have some posts uh, that are, you know, older when we first started developing this, this cartridge over a year ago. Um, we, we did a post with a picture uh, with the Garmin at 5162. That was our previous record. Um, and then we hit 5220. Um, we previously thought the Garmin would max, had been maxed out at 5162, but 5220, um, we're teetering with these charges. I'm only um, increasing charge uh, increments powder weight is by like 0 0.1. Uh, 5220, 0.9, and I'll roll that uh, screenshot or that video in here when I originally shot that this last weekend. Um, we've been talking to Garmin. We're hoping that we can uh, possibly get, I, I doubt it's going to be a software patch. It's probably going to be a uh, kind of totally different unit that's able to read above 5,200 feet per second. Uh, we know this can move faster, especially with these, um, these uh, brass solid machine bullets that we make in-house here. Uh, we just don't know how fast. So the kind of limiting factor of uh, basically figuring out exactly how fast we can uh, we can push these bullets um, is just you know having a chronograph available this Garmin unit is uh, is awesome it's uh, flawless never missed a shot um, very easy to use very intuitive so yeah 17556 uh, we worked with Redding um, who's pretty infamous for making really really high quality dyes uh, Ellie well, uh, we worked with Ellie Wilson to make our 17.556 case gauges. Uh, so as of right now, um, we're getting, we just released a few more um, die sets. We ran out of the first batch. We've got incoming um, die sets right now. Um, so those, that, those quantities will be replenished. As, for, as far as barrels go, we uh, turn all of our barrels in-house just like pretty much everything else we make down to a tiny detent, uh, BCGs, uh, all the small parts you, small parts you see, uh, you know, crush washers, muzzle devices, um, pretty much everything you see on, uh, on this uh, rifle here, uh, we do all in-house. So if you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, um, feel free to reach out. And one thing I did mention, the objective of this cartridge originally we wanted a varmint uh, caliber so something that was good for you know varmint hunting stuff like that we wanted it to be absolutely dirt cheap so you can use you know once fired 556 brass is the most common range pickup 
or uh, you know one one x fired brass you can get online 17 cal bullets are about the cheapest bullets that you can buy online and we're not using any you know super fancy powders with this um, we use a pretty good decent amount of shooters world world uh, powder that's uh, made by lovex uh, that's imported we found they've done a really good job at emulating um, same burn rate same char characteristics as other powders that have been on the market for quite some time so shout out to them um, we'll get back to you guys if we have any new development developments here and thanks for watching